Hello guys, welcome back to the Simple Ground YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at my computer screen again. We're also inside the camper recording this. So, our construction headquarters here, and you don't get to see it. All you get to see is our computer screen. Hope you don't feel too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but Audrey's here too, and we're going to talk over our yurt design. Finally, a video that you, again, have been waiting for for a long time. Yay! <laughs> so, this yurt design was done by a wonderful man named Matthew. Um, his company is called Dream Design Build. And, you know, Smiling Woods Yurts has done the, the building of this project, and they're the, the, um, the people who've created this style of, of yurt for their business, and, and Matthew often helps them out with the design phase. So what you'll be seeing here is his handiwork. I'm going to leave in the description uh, links to both Matthew's website and Smiling Woods Yurts so you guys can take a look at their wonderful work if you're ever interested in doing something similar. So here we're looking at the south part. This is the south facing door which is actually going to be the back door and hopefully in the future it'll be the location of where we'll add the, an addition onto the house. Yep, we'll have to remove a little bit of this deck to, to make it work, but that's been part of the design process, so we're all prepared for that. Here we've switched to the east side, um, and, and again you can kind of see its basic design, but uh, you can also notice that we're making a post and pier foundation here. It's all going to be on a post and pier foundation. That's part of being able to do it myself. Yep, and if it's anything like the camper, underneath is probably where the dog's going to live. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if I leave it open. We'll build her a good house. All right, so this is taken from the drone. Um, you can see these makeshift pegs that I put in the ground with blue flagging. That's basic shape of the yurt there. Um, it's an older photograph so it's not as cleared out as it is now. But It gives you an idea of what the ground looks like. It's hard to tell but it's close to flat there. Um, and there's a little bit of a slope as you look away through the picture but it's it's a very gradual slope. Um, here's a picture from above looking down and that circle is very approximate, but that's approximately where we're going to have the yurt. Um, and if it helps with direction, where the road is from the house, that would be north. So kind of the bottom right hand corner would be where the front door would be, looking a little bit towards the bottom left hand corner is where the back door would be, and that's where the addition would be eventually. Yep, yeah, if, if circles had corners. Yes. That's, <laughs> but I understood it. Corners. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right. And our beautiful tree that's in very sad shape. We've been leaving that there. We've called it House Hemlock because it, uh, it's been helping with all of the mapping and design of, of the entire project. It just gives us a home base. Uh -huh. We can say, look for that tree, the House Hemlock. Yep. And we know what to look for and where the house is and what direction we're pointing and 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 there are two growing side by side you can't tell uh, here you can see another one another conifer tree that we've cut down but or yeah uh, but this other one we're going to leave and the tall one that's kind of dying out will have to come down eventually all right now this is the good stuff that we've been waiting for yep, this is the really exciting part we spent a lot of time trying to figure out what we wanted the inside of the yurt to look like, knowing that we were going to have to uh, forego a few concepts and ideas and some space, considering how small we're having to start out. So we've been very careful about picking and choosing our pros and cons. And Matthew at Dream Design Build did a great job of translating our chicken scratch. Well, so it wasn't chicken scratch. It looked really good. Audrey drew it. But compared to what this looks like, uh, it, yeah. yeah, it wasn't 
you know, he did a great job translating it into this very workable design. Um, you can see here, starting at the east of the picture, which is also east, it's oriented the way that it would be on the ground, you know, north being north. Starting on the east, we'll have a living room area, and that'll be the main door. We liked the idea of having the main door coming right into the living room and having the kitchen being kind of open and into it because we're we like people we like to cook that likes we like cooking to be our parties and so having a living room and a kitchen that's kind of combined makes it a lot easier to set things up the way we like yep and we'll probably be doing a lot of our eating on that bar there island mm -hmm. bar um, if we purposely made it so that we don't have a kitchen table out all the time just to save space so my cooking space is also going to be our eating space so dual purposes there but we'll have a pull out table that we that we have one that kind of folds up and can hide in a corner as a decorative table and we can pull it out and unfold it anytime we need more space that's right all right and um you can see here that our wood stove is actually a wood cook stove we're planning on putting a cook stove in there uh, so that we can cook with wood and heat the home with wood and our regular stove uh, will be propane if we can make it all work out that way we haven't mm -hmm. found one to purchase yet but we know it'll work anyway so our our idea there is to have two methods of cooking and we'll try to use the the wood stove as much as possible You'll be seeing lots of videos about that in the future. That'll be very fun to play with. We also found with the county that it's very important that we have two sources of heat. So you can also see our uh, propane furnace there as well so that we can be up to code there. And for the lazy days when Jared's not around, I can just use the propane heat. <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> so um, we, you know, as we're going around the the yurt here, you can see our southern uh, door, which would be our back door. This was the spot where we had the most confusion, and Matthew did a really good job of cleaning it up the best he could. But we have that door opening up into the refrigerator and a pantry. Uh, you know, that's about the best we could do there. And our idea was, uh, you know, muddy, uh, dirty times, we can go up and through the kitchen into the bathroom which would be a mud room as well and you, you know there's problems associated with that but that was the best we could do but uh, that nice compact bathroom there will be a lot of fun I think um, we're excited about putting some stuff together in there so pretty much that bathroom is has three purposes it's a bathroom mud room laundry room I'll put into one to make life a little bit more simple when we're working and you know, we just have that quick little jaunt that's not even very much through my house, and it'll be pretty easy to contain in that little area of the house. Yeah. And anything that's dirty can go right into the washing machine. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, so the bedroom's just a regular old bedroom. That's going to be our master bedroom until we add on to the house. Um, and the deck itself is a regular old deck. Uh, we added it originally to create more roof surface for rainwater catchment. Um, where the county wouldn't let us do that originally, uh, the rainwater catchment thing will be down the road, if at all. So, yep, But that deck is a fully covered deck, and it actually provides for a lot of opportunities in the future if we want to do anything with it. Yep. So. And, and you see near the center of the, the yurt, there's a ship ladder, and it goes up into a loft. So this is going to be our open storage loft, which will help, you know, with food storage and, and other things so that there's actually more space in, in this whole entire thing. Yep, the loft was a very important addition to this yurt. Just the one level, you know, that's great and we can make it work for a lot of things, but we are a, a full family. We're not just a married couple, we have kids, we have we have a lot of stuff, we really want a library, those types of things, and we just can't have that type of space downstairs. So with upstairs, we can keep a lot of the toys up there, and a lot of the mess up there, and the library up there, and all our food storage up there, and we can at least have things out of the way so that we have the good living space downstairs. That's Very right. vital piece to the yurt. And it's, uh, you know, it's open right now. 
this because we're going to design it as we go. Uh, not any permanent fixtures, but we're thinking bookshelves and stuff could be dividing walls and so on. So we'll be excited to see how that shapes out. Yep. Where that didn't have any of the vital pieces of the home itself, that's something that we can design as we go without getting into any sort of trouble. So we're kind of excited to see what comes out of that. That's right. All right. What do we have next here? Oh, here's some renderings. We have some of the 3D renderings to give you a better idea of what it'll look like. And uh, it's kind of beautiful, huh? Of course, it's going to be made out of cedar, and um, it's a metal roof there. Very giant skylight. It'll look really nice. I'm very excited for the skylight. I've always loved the natural light, and I think I drive everybody in my family crazy because I turn the lights off as soon as I possibly can and leave them off as long as I can. <laughs> but that's a great... Uh, attribute to have when we're going to be living off the grid here so that's exciting anyway I hope you enjoyed our video about the design of our yurt um, we have more to come there's a lot of stuff on its way a lot of good things have happened um, I don't know how much I want to tell you now we'll just have to keep yep, you on keep your toes tuned. keep in tuned wait <laughs> how do I say that Stay tuned? Yes, yeah, stay tuned. There we go. <laughs> stay tuned in the future because we have some really exciting things on the docket. We are really excited with how things seem to be going at this point. Things are starting to really show some promise to move forward quickly here soon. I know you guys have had a lot of waiting and we are very sorry about that. We've been sick of waiting too, but stick with us. We're almost there and we can show you some really cool stuff here soon. Yep, you're, ex you're hearing a lot of excitement in our voice and we're holding it back just in case it doesn't work. Yeah. But if it does work, <laughs> we'll be extra excited. And whether it works or not, you'll know what we're talking about soon. Thanks for watching another video, and thanks again for joining us on this journey on Simple Ground. Bye, guys. <laughs>